Get ready to get your heart pumping with this all standing cardio workout. This episode of Class Fit Sugar is presented by Calafia Farms, creator of plant based beverages that are better for your body and better for the planet. This workout is gonna burn a ton of calories and work a lot of different muscle groups. So remember, post-workout, refuel with something like a nutrient-packed smoothie using Calafia Farms unsweetened oat milk because it's gluten-free, sugar-free, packed with nutrition, and seriously creamy. Let's do this. All right, are you guys ready to burn it up? Yes! yes. We got Christelle <laughs> and Ellie over here showing you some modifications. We're gonna start with a little bit of a jump rope skip. So imagine you have a jump rope in your hands and we're gonna just start skipping here, one foot at a time hits the ground. If you're modifying, you're not really gonna leave the ground, but you're gonna be on the ball of the foot. So your heels are not staying on the ground at all, right? You're always on the ball of the foot. You're starting to work the calves, the ankles. Feel that little burn? Yes. <laughs> you wanna level it up a little bit. You can add a little kind of butt kick here for the skip, right? So get the hamstrings activated a little bit. You have to jump up a little bit higher, have the time. Pretend like you have that jump rope in your hand here too, so it can be a little fun. <laughs> if you had a real jump rope, you might, you know, skip, mess up a little bit, which is why I like the fake make-believe jump rope. Good, so you're going here, warming up, take a deep breath in, through the nose. We are gonna be burning it up, my friends, so Ooh, start yeah. and slow. <laughs> the next one we're gonna do is a little bit of an ankle warm-up and workout. So start here with just an ankle roll, right, to modify, sticking with Ellie, or, you can start going a double hop, okay, with me and Christelle. So when you do this, I don't want you pogoing, right? Don't go up like this. I want you to pull the toes up towards the sky as you leave the foot. Now, I want you to try to do it with a single leg. So now you're really activating the shin, the calves, all the muscles of the lower leg. Burning it up, you got it. Woo. It's really burn. Pull the toes up towards the sky so you're not trying to get too high. You're trying to just leave the floor. Switch sides, other leg, Woo. right? <laughs> I'm Good. feeling my arches. Yes, and even if you're doing the ankle roll, you're working your shins as you pull those toes up towards the sky. Good, breathe. Good, the whole lower body is getting warmed up for all these other exercises. <laughs> awesome, and relax. All right, Ooh. now, gate swings, one of my favorites. Gets the heart rate up, works the legs. You're gonna bring your knees open here. If you're modifying, you're just gonna step and then come back out. Step and then come back out, right? So Ellie's gonna show you that. Otherwise, I want you to add a little skip in the middle. So you're jumping, you're kind of getting explosive on the way up. On the way down, you're going down slow, fast, slow, fast. So it's explosive on the way up slow to really fight gravity on the way down. Good. Breathe. Whew. Push those knees out. Get a good stretch through your groin. I love that. It starts to work those inner thigh muscles. Whew. And my heart rate starts to really go here. Oh my. Huh? I feel good. Right? Yes. I love it, you guys. Good job. Almost there. Keep breathing. Whew. Now That's cardio. Slow. Remember, it can, it can be done anywhere. So you could be in your hotel room right now. <laughs> you guys could be out for a walk and want to add a little extra explosive. Work, good, and relax. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, scissor jacks. So for here, maybe you're not jumping today. That's okay. Maybe you're bringing those legs in the scissor. Otherwise, add the little skip for us. This is just a little dimension I like to do with the jumping jack, right? Just going scissor with the legs, back and forth, tighten up the belly. Think about your abs staying really strong, right? Keep breathing through it. And the more you get those arms involved, the harder your heart rate is pumping, right? So if you're trying to get a good cardio workout today, use your body in every way you can. Really do it intentionally. Get those arms up like you mean it, <laughs> right? Like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Feeling my abs, shoulder, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Breathing it out and relax, okay. Now, we're gonna take a shallow reverse lunge and we're gonna add a little kick. So I'm gonna go shallow, kick. You can do this to start it off. You might alternate legs if you're doing what Ellie's doing or whoo, you guys can stay on one leg the whole 30 seconds with us, then switch. Here, you're just working that front leg, you're getting that thigh. And on the way back, 
Think about going nice and gentle on that step back so that you're putting all the support through that front leg. Back to the burn. I know. Guys, good. <laughs> switch sides, other way. So remember here, you can alternate or just go the same side. Alternating is going to be a little easier. Burning up one side at a time is like that focused energy right through that leg. Balance. I know. <laughs> good. Remember, tighten up those abs during the kick. Keep those abs engaged. Back. Good, and relax. Ooh. Don't worry, we'll revisit those if you didn't master it that time. Now, start on one side of your mat, because what we're gonna do is take a step out, and we're gonna go into a little curtsy lunge here. So, step out, curtsy, right? This is the beginner's phase of a speed skater. So it's just a curtsy lunge. Now you can step it up a little bit and add a little hop. And that back foot can touch. Right, so you can stay there, or you can start to pick that foot up, right? And if you don't touch that back foot, it's harder. Then, you can take it up another notch and touch the floor, Ooh, right? So, many different levels. You do what feels good for you. Woo, you might fall like me <laughs> when you're trying to talk and do too much. You guys look awesome, almost there. Last one. Oh, love it, love it. I love how many levels there is to that one. You're really getting. Now we're gonna go, a little squat jump, forward and back. So here, I want you to add a little squat. You can either step forward, step back, or you can hop forward, hop back. Now pretend like you have a shoelace line, right? It's a very small line. You're not jumping to the moon. You're jumping over a very small line so that you're gentle on your landing. You're not trying to be explosive. You're not working on your vertical, right? You're just working on a nice, soft squat hop. Back and forth, like a little bunny rabbit. Yeah. Right? Good job, you guys, almost there. Feel that burn in my thighs again. I know, like my, <laughs> my heart rate is up, my legs are burning. And relax, okay, shake it out. Give yourself a second. I don't want you to take too much water down right now. Maybe just a little sip. If you want to just rinse your mouth out really quickly. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna have a bunch of water in your stomach, bouncing around, giving you a cramp. <laughs> and right now, you're laser focused. Heart rate's still up, right? Yeah. Yes. So let's go back into our little skips. Breathe. Now, how do you guys feel? Good. Oh, right. yeah. Definitely. Me too. We didn't, we didn't even leave the room, you guys. We're here just chilling. Cardio can be anywhere. Breathe it out. You're looking great. Skip it up. Ah, awesome. Now you can master the moves this time. All right, we're gonna speed right through them and you're gonna do amazing. Ready? Let's go into our hops. So it's a double, it's an ankle roll, or it's single. Come on, Chris, now let's go single. Ooh. Oh yeah, good. Now, I see people do this wrong a lot. It looks easy, right? But when you're doing this right, even the front of your shins is gonna burn. Oh, yeah. The top of your foot, the bottom of your foot, it's gonna burn. Switch sides, because you're pulling the toe. Yes, <laughs> your calf, you're pulling your toe up towards the sky every time you leave the ground, right? Beautiful, and if you're a runner, you're helping yourself avoid shin splints by doing this move. So remember, this is a strengthening cardio exercise that helps you prevent injury too. Breathe, you got it. Or you're going double, you're doing great. Or you're doing the rolls, work your way up by starting with the cab roll. And relax, beautiful. Okay, gate swings, remember, you guys can modify this one in and out. We're gonna elevate it. We're gonna do a little crisscross at the top. So we're driving one foot across the top, adding that little scissor, working those inner thighs, and it takes coordination, right? Yeah. Christelle? <laughs> Good, nice job. If you're modifying, maybe you wanna add a little crisscross. Yeah. Back, right? You can add that dimension as well. Breathe. Start to enjoy the fact that your heart, your lungs, your muscles, are all getting stronger. Good. 
Breathe it out. That's it, endurance is going up. You're gonna be walking up those hills like a champ. <laughs> yes. Good job. Three, two, and one. All right, march it out. You know what's next. We're going into those crisscross scissor jacks. So arms come up, scissors with the legs right here. Belly's in tight, right? As any time you can, focus on those core muscles because they're working for you. You know, regardless of if you're thinking about them, they're working. Have you guys ever pulled an abdominal muscle? No, I've never have done you that before. Have you ever pulled an ab muscle? No. Okay. No, th well, thankfully not. You never want to. <laughs> you never want to pull an abdominal muscle. Because if you do, you're going to know that your abdominals work during everything you do, right? Uh -huh. But the more intentional you can be to engage them, the stronger they're going to get, right? So give it that love. Breathe. Good. Three, two, one. The reason I say that is because everyone goes, oh, I want to do some ab work. I'm like, you're doing it, sitting up. You stood. Good job, you did some abs. All right, we're going to go into that reverse lunge and kick. Drop it. Kick. Good. Shallow lunge, right? So if you wanted to, you could go to the floor. This is going to require real power to that back leg, okay? That front leg, I mean. So remember, only go there if you're ready. And you don't have to go at our pace. You can be like, I'm going down to the floor because I want to work my leg, but I'm not going to do it at Krista DePaulo's speed, right? Switch up sides. Chris is my girl, that's why I can say that. <laughs> she is fit, she is fast, she is fierce, and so are you. Get yes. there at your own pace, at your own race, right? Down and up, kick it up. Remember that kick? All core, baby, all yeah. core, that. right? <sighs> Breathe, down and up. Press through that front heel. As you drive through that leg, Ooh. stop. Give yourself a rest. Because oh. <laughs> I need one too. <laughs> now, I know it's hard to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth when you're winded, right? But do just a few of them. In through the nose. Blow out the candles through your mouth. Good. Just a couple of them is going to yeah. regain a lot, OK? Now we're going speed skaters, where we step and we curtsy back and forth. Or we're going to add the hop with the touch, right? Or we're gonna add the hop with the no touch. Or we're gonna add the touch down to the floor with the hop, with the no foot on the that back. Good. Oh baby. <laughs> this is the athlete way. But you're working your way up and giving you multiple levels to really pursue that next level for yourself. Good, back and forth. Go oh, well. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. And shake it out. I know. <laughs> All right, now, this last jump squat, before we did the forward oh, yeah. and the back, right? Now, I'm going to turn. So, watch Ellie. Yeah, that's right. Right? She's going to start. She's going to touch or, or not. Or oh, not. Squat. Yeah. <laughs> and she's going to step, squat, step, squat. So what I'm doing is I'm really challenging your nervous system, your balance, your agility, because you're turning and getting into a good squat position. Now, if you can leave both feet at the same time and add that turn, add that squat, much more challenging. If you can get all the way to the ground, touch the floor, oh baby, Woo. working your body at another level. Start where you feel comfortable. Back and forth, good. Three, two, one. All right, take it out, walk it out. Keep your legs moving. Grab a sip of your water. We're gonna change up the moves a little bit. What do you guys think? Good, oh my gosh. Oh. Take your time. Let's change it up a little bit. Small sips. During cardio, you don't wanna be guzzling. If you're thirsty right now, that's because you're dehydrated already before your workout even began. So get yourself hydrated on a daily basis, hourly basis. Yes. Don't think about hydration during your workout. Now next one, 
We're gonna go a little skip here and have our jump rope in hand. We're gonna drive that knee up. Now look at Ellie. She's not leaving the floor, but she's on the ball of the foot. I see a lot of people modify and they're flat footed as if you have no calf muscle. <laughs> you do, and if you have a calf injury, do not do this move at all, okay? But you can add a little skip, get off the ball of the foot, be more explosive, and that's getting to the next level. So work to where you feel comfortable, where you can thrive, that way you don't get injured, you just get better. Good, drive it up, you got it. Breathe, yes. Ah, <laughs> breathe it out, you can. I have to do that sometimes, you know, she's like, yeah. oh. <laughs> good, keep going. Three, two, one, and check it out, good. Now, next we're gonna do what I call a little shuffle pickup. Cause I've been picking Luca up, my little one, all year long. So, it's a step, pick up your little one, hold, caress, love. <laughs> and then go back, pick up, come together. So it's a little shuffle pick up. You guys feel whatever groove you need here. I kind of like to take a extra step. It's almost like my little break. I get low. And if you can't go all the way to the floor, don't. Just go here. Okay, you're here. You're saying high five, little one. <laughs> right, you're not picking them up. High five. Maybe you have little ones watching you right now, which I hope they are. And they're like, go mommy. <laughs> Good, teach them this move. Shuffle down, pick up. Good, high five. Good, or get low. I like to do the whole, ooh, two hands. That's the hard way. Slows yeah. you down, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like, oh my God. False. Yes. Good, back and forth. Last two. One. And relax. Oh. Okay. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey. She's sweating too. She's yeah, I am. I'm so, it's not just you. <laughs> it's all of us. Ready? We're gonna punch overhead as we do a jack. Now you might do a jack like this, right? You're off the ball of the foot, punching up towards the sky. That means I want you going fast. I want you just like, whew. yes, Anna, I'm ready. Give me those overhead jacks. Come on. Good. Or go two feet, punch it up, and you don't have to go as fast, right? You can do it nice and slow. Nice and steady. Get your breath under control. It's like when I swim, I swim like a sprinter. And then I'm like <laughs> so winded I can't even do another lap. Same thing with this. Gotta go at your own tempo. Pace yourself out. Your endurance isn't what Christelle's is. It's not what Ellie's is or mine. It's what yours is. Breathe it out. You got it. Good. Five, four, three, Two, one. Let me question Ooh. you. Did you tighten up your abs during that whole yes. thing? Yes. Yes. They Ooh. did. Did you? Ooh. Yeah. Were you focusing on your abs? I don't know. All right. Cross feet. jack. Open up your arms. Open up your legs. You're going to cross, cross, cross. This is a modification right here. And I don't want your arms just like, cool, Anna. <laughs> move. I want you like so strong. You're like the matrix cutting through things. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You got some yeah. tension there. Get that stretch through your chest and pull it in. Now, if you want to elevate that, you're going to cross the legs and the arms Woo. at the same time. So you got to breathe. Keep it going. Now, you just went into this move. I bet you your arms took a hit, right? You're like, oh, yes. Uh, try to keep them up. Try to get them powerful through this. You're gonna be sore in your chest tomorrow. Oh. I'm telling you. Keep it going. <sighs> Breathe it out. You got it, or you're here, come on. Like Ooh. you mean it. Ooh. Like you mean it, come on. Let's go. Go, two, one. Oh. You guys are amazing, high five. Oh. Yes. I gotta give my girls Feel my arms are back here showing up. <laughs> you showing up? I know you are. You haven't hit pause yet, have you? Because if you have, I don't blame you, but <laughs> we wish we could hit pause, but we're not gonna, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Now, we're gonna do a little squat, sumo, sumo squat. I talk backwards when I'm tired. I come down, I come up, and I go opposite knee to elbow. Sumo, opposite knee to elbow, down and up. Now, if you're not going all the way down, it's fine, right? You might be going here, then coming up with that twist. If you're kneeking it to the elbow on both, 
here and here. Holy moly, you are amazing. <laughs> All right, so you'd rock with that. Back and forth. Now, if you want, I want you to add a little jump at the top. So I'm here, 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 here. I'm being more explosive Ooh. on the way up. Right? Good job, Crystal. Yeah. That's it, Ellie, good. Yeah. Three, I got my arms. Two, Ooh. one. Yeah. I know, right? Oh. Yeah. It's all in your shoulders, though. Yeah. All right, good. We're doing some lateral stuff this circuit, so we're gonna go with another lateral move. All right, we're gonna step out. Remember, knee in line with the hip. See a lot of people doing this. And this isn't like terrible, but you might have a little knee pain later. So try to keep everything forward, sit back, come together, and then switch sides, right? So we're doing a little lateral lunge. Now, Christelle and I are gonna level this up. We're gonna add a little shuffle in the middle. So all we're doing is being a little more explosive off this leg, and we're getting a little bit more plyometric back and forth. If you are super strong, then you can even start adding a touch to the floor. But that's only if everything feels right, like your knees in line, you're using your butt, you're sticking your hips back, you're being real powerful from the hips and glute, and then you can be explosive even all the way down in that depth. Back and forth, you got it. Three, good, two, I know. One, I love it. She's like, uh, give me the. Whoo. I'm like, I'm breathing okay. so hard. <laughs> I know it's working. Now, this one, watch the modifiers. You can alternate a, a reverse lunge, come together, and just alternate sides right here. Otherwise, I want you to go into a split lunge, hop together, and split the other leg. Hop, split. Okay? Now you speed this up a little bit, get into a little rhythm, right? Back and forth. Good, you don't have to go super low. Keep your chest high. You're coming off the balls of the feet, landing soft, or you're just, if you're like, oh my God, okay. I did that for like five seconds. I'm gonna now go into the modified version. That's what I always recommend, right? And relax. Ooh. So if you find, oh, Anna, grab some water while we have two seconds. Anna, I feel like I can do the advanced version. Amazing. Then, halfway through, you can't, because your body's giving out, and that's normal. It happens to me, too. I'll go back to the modified version. Little tip for you, because I do it in the videos. You'll see me, when I'm like, oh my god, I can't do this advanced version. I'll be like, and remember, the modified version is this. That's my little inside tip for you guys. <laughs> yes. All right, you ready? You got a yes. little sip? Yeah. Ooh. Are you guys gonna need a post-workout recovery or what? <laughs> yeah. Oh my yes. gosh. Calipia so Farms oat milk. We just tried it, you guys. It's so good. So it's gonna good. be perfect for your smoothie after this. Ready? We're going into a little skip. Let's go. Knees up. Let's drive that knee into the chest. You got a little jump rope in your hands so your arms just aren't jello <laughs> or spaghetti. They're like, they're toned right now. They're you gotta powerful. think about your abs really tie those abs in. Like think about you had a string pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Engage. You're doing great. This is our last round. You're doing amazing. We're almost done. Keep it up. You can do it. And if you got to press pause on me, I still love you. I hope I see you in five seconds. All right, keep it going. Good, breathe. In three, two, one. Amazing. Remember the lateral shuffle, pick up, let's go. Let's go down, pick up, shuffle, down, pick up, shuffle. I like to add that little shuffle because it gives your legs like a little break. Good, and remember here, you want good form. So I still wanna see your chest. I don't want you here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm doing a back bend. No, that's not working your butt. I'd rather see you not go as low and still see us. So you're here. You gotta bend your knees. You gotta stick your butt out. You gotta work those legs so that you can get stronger and not have a backache after this. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Good job. Three. Boom. Two. And I'm dying. <laughs> and you guys are awesome. Yeah. Yes. All right, you know what? When you get towards the end of that workout, it's okay to be tired, right? It's that growth mindset that says, I'm just getting stronger. It's not that you're weak. It's not that you can't. It's that you're getting stronger. So get that in your mind. Have a growth mindset. Let's go. Yes, Jumping yes, jacks. Overhead punch, go. Yes. Like you mean it. 
good, so open up, remember, here. You guys can always modify, but when you do, your heels don't touch the ground. Can I emphasize that enough? Don't touch the ground with your heels. I want you to use your calves. I want you to get stronger in the ankles and the feet, right? It's easy for me, I have high arches, so I basically walk on my toes. <laughs> my husband makes fun of me. It's all right, I'm proud of it. Good. I'm a sprinter. Good, back and forth. Abs are tight. Breathe it out. Three, two, one. Relax, Ooh. now cross, remember. Open arms, you're, they're here. Start it up. Good, I know there's not a lot of breaks. I'm giving yeah. you a couple sips of water Ooh. here. But you guys are amazing. <sighs> this is a 30 minute cardio burner, right? And you didn't even leave your house. You didn't even leave your room. Right. Your hotel bed is looking at you saying, why didn't you sleep for 30 more minutes? And you said, nope, I'm up, I'm getting it in before my day. Right, you got things to get done. Good, open it up, now you can cross here. Back Ooh. and forth, crisscross. Maybe you've already been doing this. I think Christelle was taking a break with me. She was like, oh, I like this. I like this modified version. That's all right. She's still moving, I'm still moving, you're still moving. How you doing, Ellie? Good. All right. I'm great. She's like, my arms. I'm like, focusing <laughs> on my arms. Let's go. Burn. Good. Three, two, and one. Oh, Good job. Yeah. Woo. Now, remember, that sumo squat. Let's go down. Remember, here, go down as far as you can. Come up, cross, down, come up, cross. Now, when you cross, I really want you twisting your torso. So you work those obliques, you work those abs or add that little hop, up, getting explosive. Yeah, Christelle, yeah. nice, good form, Ellie. That looks great. How are you guys feeling? Gotta do a lot of my thighs and my Oh my feet. gosh, I know. We're gonna need a little stretch after this. Yeah, yeah. You're doing great. Breathe it out, up, down. Come on, you're doing great. Yeah. 10 more seconds. Oh my gosh, okay, this is when Anna, Goes back to the modified version. <laughs> and relax. I love oh, you. Oh, good. All right, you guys. Now, lateral lunge. Add the hop or not. But you want to make sure you've got a nice long leg here. Step. Sit back into that booty. So make sure the burn all comes from the back and the hips. Down and up. Add that little hop. Get that little extra burn. If you can be explosive out of that lunge. But being safe. Keeping your chest high, right? That, that's the worst. It's like, <laughs> you're here, you know? So hey, true. Keep the chest up. Because initially, once you bend forward, it takes it all out of your butt and into your back. Just telling you. So, if you're looking down, you're hurting your back, you're not hurting your booty, which is where we want to feel the burn. Yes. Good yes. job, you guys. Your butt can take it, your back is like, I don't really like you right now. <laughs> Good, last one. Woo, all right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, that lunge, remember we're going back, stepping together, modified version, where we're here, and a little, oop. <laughs> we're doing the hop in the middle. Okay. I don't, for this cardio workout, I was like, do we do split lunge hops without the bounce? It's like, no, not for you. <laughs> not with all the work you've been doing on your lower body. This is for you, my friends. Keep your body Ooh. strong, healthy. Good. Couple more seconds, you're doing great. Breathe it out. That's it, let it out. Burn it out. You can do it. Yeah. Go back to the modified version if you need to, like I am. Good. I'm trying to pose, guys. This is so hard, this is good. Burns. Last three. Two. Yes, Krista. Oh my God. Woo, <laughs> girl. Yeah. My thighs. Girl. This girl. All right, walk it out. Make sure you keep moving your legs for another couple seconds. Take those two deep breaths I just told you about, right? In through the nose. Out through the mouth, in through the nose. See if you can do a couple more, but if you need to like pant, it's okay too. Right? <laughs> because you know that feeling everyone says like, take a deep breath and you're like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. That's okay, that's normal. But just get a couple in. It replenishes your oxygen much faster, even though it doesn't feel comfortable, okay? Now, what I wanna do is a standing calf stretch. Don't leave me. Please do the stretches, because this is all about the post-recovery stuff. And it starts here with your stretch. So you've got your back leg really long and your heel flat. 
you've got something to push against, that's great. But if not, just bend into your front knee a little bit, but keep your back leg really straight, like lock your knee, okay? I, I don't say that hardly ever, but I wanna say it now, okay? For this stretch, keep your heel down. And if you're not that tight in your calves, you might not feel this, right? But tomorrow you might be tight in your calves, do this stretch again, because the tighter, the tighter and more sore you are, the more you feel these muscles when you're stretching them, right? Yeah. But you're really warm right now, so you might not even feel this that much, unless you're really tight. Go ahead and switch. Other side, nice straight leg. Ooh, I feel right? this tighter Yeah, I feel this leg. I know Ooh. one side is always tighter for me, too. Yeah. It's always my left, because I'm a lefty. But right here, keep your belly pulled in tight, right? You're leaning forward a little bit from the hips. And that's good. Keep that back leg really straight. Keep that heel. Think about pulling your toe up towards the sky a little bit in the back foot, right? So that your heel really reaches towards the floor. Hopefully your breath is coming down. We're gonna switch legs and we're gonna do a straight leg kind of hamstring and calf stretch. So Ooh, my you're gonna bend into one knee. Keep the opposite leg straight. Here, I'll do this side first so you guys can see, okay. right? But here, oh man, when you pull that toe, you're gonna feel your calf, you're gonna feel your hamstring, even maybe a little bit in your low back. And this one here, just hold for a few seconds, keep your chest up, try to keep a nice flat back. This isn't one where you're gonna bend and arch the back. The straighter you can keep your back, the more you're gonna feel it through the hamstring and through the calf. Burner, whoo, I like that. What is your guys' favorite cardio exercise outside? Ooh, running. Running? I love running. I love doing a speed skater. Outside. I think I've always wanted to be a figure skater, so Ooh. oh my gosh, that fulfills my... That's amazing. <laughs> they have such amazing thighs. Like, <laughs> right? they are just so shredded, because I mean, they're in a squat the whole time. Hopefully you guys switch legs. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite outdoor has really become swimming, because oh, it's that's so good. hard for me. Running is something I've done my whole life. And so yeah, I'll go out, but like, when I'm challenged is where I feel like, yeah. yeah, I'm getting so much more, you know? So even when you guys are doing stuff like this and it's not easy, let's do a quad stretch. Try to, try to embrace the challenge and the struggle because whatever is more challenging for you to do is probably harder on your body and working you more. So, so true. maximize your time. This 30 minute workout might be harder for you than going out for a 30 minute jog, right? Yeah, right. So and you're getting different modalities in and challenging your body in different ways, and that's how you get better. Whew. Oh my, what was your favorite exercise? Um, I love Did doing I? The, um, the lateral pickups. Oh, oh nice. I think for me it was like reminding me to breathe, so every time we went down, it was like, <laughs> oh, switch sides, <laughs> switch up legs. I Ooh. like that. What was your favorite one? I actually really liked the rolling of the ankles oh, yeah. up like, Wow, that really. If you're a runner, yeah. you really need to do that. Especially before you run. Because you know how your ankles are all stiff before you go out for a yeah. jog? I'll like stretch it out, but that was so strengthening. Yeah. I was like, okay, I need to And do good this for your more. shins, because yeah. you don't want to get those shin splints. It's a pain in the butt uh -huh. to get rid of. Good. You guys, now we're going to do a figure four. And this one is really challenging if you're standing. So maybe you have a couch, a chair, or something, all right, or a friend, or a wall. But you want to bring your ankle over your knee. You're gonna sit your booty back, keep your chest high. You don't have to bend that far to feel this stretch, right guys? Yeah. All that booty work, this feels great. Oh my gosh. So good on the booty. It's so yeah. good. And remember too, I wanna add in the importance of post-recovery work. I mean, you guys, stretching is number one. Number two is nutrition, right? So right. many people have this myth that, oh, I don't wanna eat right after my workout. I just burned all those calories. Right now, your body needs fuel, it needs nutrients, it needs minerals, right? So when I say have a nice nutrient-packed smoothie using Calafia Farms, you know, oat milk, use that stuff to refuel, get your body totally revamped and recovering 30 minutes to an hour. No more than that after your workout, because I know some people feel like nauseous after a workout, mm -hmm. but 30 minutes to an hour, I feel like anybody should feel pretty good by then, right? Yeah. Good, your body's so like a nice. sponge right now. It wants to soak up all the nutrients or have something <laughs> healthy, good for you, and rock the rest of your day. Good job today, guys. Yeah. Good yes, job, thank you. awesome job, Ellie. Way to rock it, you guys.